Well, good afternoon, Tabernacle family. It's Thursday, April 9th, and we begin our reading today in Psalm 41. And so if you'll notice in Psalm 41 in verse 1, the Bible said, Blessed is he that considereth the poor. The Lord will deliver him in time of trouble. The Lord will preserve him and keep him alive, and he shall be blessed upon the earth, and thou wilt not deliver him unto the will of his enemies. The Lord will strengthen him upon the bed of languishing. The Lord will make all his bed in his sickness. I said, Lord, be merciful unto me. Heal my soul, for I have sinned against thee. Now, here we find David, and he is giving us a very important principle, and that is that if we sow, uh, that we will reap. And oftentimes we think of that in a negative sense, but uh, here it is in a positive sense. Notice what he says in verse 1. Blessed is he that considereth the poor. Uh, there's always people around us who have needs, and when we consider them, when we stop and take a moment to, to aid them, to help them. And by the way, they may not be financially poor, but they might be someone who is in need. And when we stop and, and invest in them and do something out of kindness and because of the love of Christ in our hearts, when we minister to the people who are in need around us and God allows each of us to come in contact with uh, certain people that others won't come in contact with. So he gives us opportunities. When we take advantage of those opportunities, here's what we find out. The Lord knows he's watching and he will bless us if we will be willing to help those in need. Now, David said, there's something you need to understand. If you are willing to be a vessel of blessing to someone, then the Lord will deliver you. When, when your time of trouble comes, God will see you through it. And he will, secondly, he will preserve you. Verse two, the Lord will preserve him. Then again in verse three, the Lord will strengthen you. And so I want to encourage you, let's be a blessing to others. I know many people are concerned about their own lives and their own hearts and, and their own needs, but let's be a blessing and uh, let's do all we can to encourage people during this time. Then we come to Psalm 42, and I notice a phrase that we find often in Psalm 42. It's the term, my soul. David begins in verse 1, As the heart panteth after the water brooks, so panteth my soul after thee, O God. Verse 2, my soul thirsteth for God. Then he says in verse 4, When I remember these things, I pour out my soul. Verse number five, why art thou cast down, O my soul? Again, in verse number six, O God, my soul is cast down. And again, we find that term in verse number 11. Why art thou cast down, O my soul? Our soul is an important part of our being. It's the part that will live forever. It's the seat of our intellect and our emotion and our will. It's who we are. And so we need to protect our soul and have a healthy soul. And there are times when we go through this life where our soul becomes dry. And David says, Lord, I, my soul is dry and I'm thirsty for you. I need you to minister to me. My soul thirsteth for God, for the living God. When shall I come and appear before God? You know, I think God is using this time in our country right now to awaken some people to their need for God. There are other things that we have been uh, taking into our bodies, into our minds, into our hearts, into our souls that we believe will satisfy us. And the Lord is using this time to reveal to us that those things do not satisfy. There's only one thing that will satisfy us, and that is the Lord himself. And so I'm praying that God will help us to be thirsty. Now, the Lord said, if we who are thirsty, if anyone who is thirsty will come unto him, then he will give them the water of life freely. So I want to encourage you to take a drink uh, from the Lord's well. He says in, in verse number three, my tears have been my meat day and night while they continually say unto me, where is thy God? Here again, David dealing with persecution. He says, when I remember these things, I pour out my soul. Lord, I'm, I'm pouring out my soul to you. I, I, I'm, I'm telling you what my need is. I'm I'm telling you how much I need you. I'm confessing to you my sin. I'm giving to you my complaint. I'm emptying myself. 
He asked himself in verse 5, Why art thou cast down, O my soul? And why art thou disquiet in me? Here's the answer. Hope thou in God. Again in verse 11. Why art thou cast down, O my soul? And why art thou disquieted within me? Hope thou in God. Then he says, For I shall yet praise him, who is the health of my countenance and my God. If I want to have a healthy soul, I've got to stay in touch with him. And so may the Lord help us. We go to Psalm 43. This is a great psalm about encouraging yourself. You know, there was a time when David, uh, when he had to learn to encourage himself in the Lord. That time was at Ziklag and uh, his wife and his children and the wives and children of the men who were on the run with him. They were carried away by the Amalekites and the soldiers who were along with David, his, his loyal men, They even spoke of stoning him. And the Bible said in that time, David had to encourage himself in the Lord. And so here David says uh, in Psalm 43, I've got to encourage myself. Uh, He says in verse 1, Judge me, O God, and plead my cause against the ungodly nation. O deliver me from the deceitful and unjust man. For thou art the God of my strength. Why dost thou cast me off? Why go I mourning because of the oppression of the enemy? Oh, send out thy light and thy truth. Let them lead me and let them bring me unto thy holy hill and to thy tabernacles. Then will I go to the altar of God. Unto God my exceeding joy. Yea, upon the harp will I praise thee, O God, my God. Then he asked the same question he asked in Psalm 42. Why art thou cast down on my soul? And why art thou disquieted within me? Hope in God, for I shall yet praise him, who is the health of my countenance and my God. We deal with dreary times and discouraging times, and it is in those times that we must learn to hope in the Lord. He says, Lord, I'm dealing with darkness and dreariness. Send out thy light. Send out thy truth. Let them lead me. Let them bring me under thy holy hill. Oh, we need to get in the presence of the Lord, and he will encourage us. Psalm 44 is, the, is the, a psalm that the Bible, or the title of the psalm is to the chief musician for the sons of Korah. And uh, here they're saying, Lord, we're having trouble. Our enemies seem to be overcoming us. We're in distress. And they rehearse God's faithfulness in the past. It's always good for us to remember what God has done for us. And then uh, they deal with their present distress. Past victories, Thank God for them. But Lord, we're in distress right now. And then they cry out to God and ask the Lord to meet their needs. Then we come to Psalm 45, and this is the psalm of the king in his beauty. It's a companion psalm to the Song of Solomon. And when we think about our king, King Jesus, and how beautiful he is, and we think about what he's done for us, and we think about the fact that he is coming again, and we will forever be with him. What a blessing that is. What a hope that is to our soul. And so I pray that God is helping you today. And uh, let's continue now. We'll begin tomorrow in Psalm 46.